Howdy everyone! For today I wanted to do a tutorial creating a simple and elegant smoky eye look that you can use on a regular day, on a weekday, and some such. And I wanted it to be work safe but still make you feel glamorous and fun at the same time. So I'm using three Glamour Dolls Eyes eyeshadow to create this smoky eye look. It is extremely simple to create and this tutorial should only take you about 20 to 30 minutes to get ready in the morning. So here we are. Let's go. Let's get into it. And So I've already primed my eyelid using my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer. You can use whichever one you like that works for you. And then I took Glamour Doll Eyeshadow in Bare Naked on a fluffy brush and blended it right underneath my brow. I'll just go back and show you again. And then I am going to wipe that brush off and we are going to use the same brush and go in with um, Glamour Doll Eyes Obscure and just get some on your brush like this and then kind of tap it off so that you don't get too much on there. Because the aim, the point of this eye is we want it to keep it elegant and casual and sort of have a sheer amount of coverage. And I'm just gonna go in all and pat that all over my lid. And stopping just where the crease is. So gently patting that in just above the crease because the intention is to create a smoky eye which is just a few shades darker than our skin tone and, um, and blend it out into the skin tone shade. So we're going to do that real quick and then we are going to that's good because it's gonna we're gonna get a little bit more intensity actually let's put just a little bit more obscure on with that fluffy brush and the intention is to keep this romantic sort of a look kind of casual like I want you to feel like you can just wear this on a regular day but still feeling kind of glamorous Okay, and then next we are going to take the Foil Me, and you can use whatever foiling product or solution you have, um, but I'm using this one here because I'm using Glamour Doll Eyes stuff today. So just dip your concealer brush or whatever synthetic brush in there and kind of get an amount, like not too much, just a little bit on there, and just, just sort of lightly tap that foiling brush product all over the lid, stopping before the, the eyelid crease. And then we're going to wipe that brush off again. And then we're going to go in with our shimmer shadow, which is, we're using Pistol Pistol. And it has, it's like a grayish with like I don't know, pink, and it looks like some purple shimmers in there. I'm not really sure, but it's gorgeous, and I love it. And this is what gives it the um, the more the more glamorous effect. And then we're just going to go in and lightly, again, keeping everything really light. We're thinking nice and sheer and sophisticated with this look. And we're going to apply that all just very sheer over the lid. Good. Okay. Don't worry if a little bit falls down onto your face because I'm personally going to apply my foundation last for this look, which I don't do a lot, but when I do um, looks with all loose shadows, sometimes I'll do, go ahead and do my foundation last. And then next we're going to go back in with Obscure and make sure we just deepen up the crease color a little bit. And again, when you're working with loose shadows, you kind of want to pat rather than going in and swiping right away because it can kind of create a mess and it won't be as precise. So we're just going to pat, ooh, sorry about that, I lost you for a second there, right above the crease. And then after that, we'll gently blend, do like our gentle little swipes, making sure you get that as high up as you want 
it to go. Since I have a lot of brow bone space, I like to blend mine slightly higher. And keeping it in that shape of your eye socket and kind of creating a dome shape there. Okay, nice. And now we're going to go back in with our eyelid primer and just apply it right underneath the eyeball all the way across in a thin layer and then come in with your, you can use your pinky finger for a small brush and just kind of blend that out. And then we'll go in with a little brush and go back into Obscure. And we're going to blend that out all across underneath the eye there. And again, sort of patting it on so it doesn't make a big mess and get everywhere. And again, if you get somewhere you don't want it, don't worry, because we can come back in with a concealer or um, foundation and kind of fix that. All right, all around the eyeball there. And then we're going to take our Bare Naked shade again on that same small brush and just go on ahead and pat there around it. And let me see, I can't really see what I'm doing. There we go. Pat and then kind of wipe that brush off and blend it out. And I think I need a little bit more obscure. Yeah, so I can match the depth of the other eye there. So, back in with that. Right, and you kind of have to do the shadow underneath when you're doing your smoky eye because you want that whole eye area to look like it's just kind of smoked out. Okay, and then we're pretty much done with the shadow. You can do whatever you want for liner. But I'm keeping it really, really simple and really kind of casual. And I'm just going to go in and line the upper waterline with my black, soft black liner. I'm using Perversion by Urban Decay. And then I'm going to line the lower. And I don't bring it all the way in because I don't want my eyes to look like they're closer than they actually are. So I try to keep the dark colors and most of the dimension and the depth further out and then I'm going to go in with actually a white and then water line the inner rim of the water line of the inner water line oh. just like that try not to stab yourself in the eye when you line your water line like I always do okay and since I have a really hard time not adding glitter to any eye look I ever do, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter, which is an optional step if you like glitter, but which I do. And I'm going to use, again, the Foil Me by Glamour Doll Eyes and put that on my inner corner. Hold on, let me not get out of the frame here. Put that right there. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with the glitter in my dismay. <laughs> and just go ahead and put that to right, right on the inner lower corner there. And if you see my eyes shaking around like crazy, it's because I actually have a condition called nystagmus. And they just do that. And it makes it a little bit hard to see sometimes. Oh, excuse me. Okay. But it's okay. I've lived with it my whole life. So anyway, and then we're going to do two layers of a mascara primer right on the top and bottom. And I think that's really important when you're doing a smoky eyes to really remember to define your lashes. And I always use a mascara primer. I just feel like it helps keep my lashes protected um, from whatever oogie stuff might be in my mascara when I'm not using nice mascara. 
And when I am, obviously it just gives them a, a bolder look. And then I am applying Too Faced Mascara in Better Than Sex. <laughs> and that's what it's really called, which is funny. But anyway, it's amazing. Okay. Alright. Oh, got a little clumpy. Clumpy clump. Alright, uh, baby. Why are you going crazy on me now? Everything was going good. Okay, and that is the finished eyeball look of the smoky eye. And I'm just going to add some lips and foundation. So I went ahead and applied my foundation, the old school Urban Decay Cream Foundation and um, OCC Lip Tart in a mannequin which is super bright. And this is the completed look. So and again you don't have to use as bright of a lip but for me this eye look is really really simple so I wanted to spice it up a little bit um, and I also am using the Glamour Dolls Eyes Blush and Starter Rumor which was part of the spring collection so I hope that you found this tutorial useful or that at least you liked it um, and I will see you next time